Because of the generosity of thousands of individuals each year, ordinary people can lead extraordinary lives. Why extraordinary? Because for some, the ability to dance at their wedding or see their daughter graduate from high school would never be possible without an organ transplant. And organ and tissue transplants would never take place without the generosity of donors and their families. My donor came from West Virginia. He was 20 years old. And that was August the 3rd, 1997. Since a transplant, life is wonderful. To honor the donors who made it all possible, UNOS enlisted donors, patient, and donor family members from across the country to design a national donor memorial. The memorial design takes visitors on a symbolic journey, a journey that begins in the Holly Garden with a single drop of water. Like the ripples continually created by this drop, Many lives are forever changed by a solitary act of donation. Expressions of grief or gratitude are represented at the Wall of Tears, reflection and remembrance at the Wall of Names, or meditations on the generous gift of life. And on the lawn, carefully chosen plantings attract butterflies, a vibrant symbol of new life. But you know, the National Donor Memorial has never been about bricks and mortar. It's all about people, the people to whom it pays tribute, the hundreds of thousands of organ and tissue donors throughout America, and their families, and their loved ones, who gave new life to so many others. And so it is appropriate that we dedicate this memorial today in their honor. And I, I as a donor family member who lost a wife 11 years ago, and lost a daughter seven years ago. I am comforted in the tranquility of this venue. I reflect in the peace of the garden. I rejoice in the legacy of Donna Lee Jones Moritzugu and of Vicky Leanne Moritzugu and of so many other donors. Just as I am sure other donor families as well as so many others, will come and find peace and meaning. Let this memorial be a resounding messenger of ordinary people accomplishing ordinary things, bringing the gifts of hope My first reaction when I'm wearing it is these people, I mean, they're just like me. You know, we it was a choice that we all made and I just it just feel I just felt good when I went to walk through the garden. I'm anxious now to bring my own family, my extended family, down here because I think that it would be meaningful to them as well. And for folks who um, might be on the fence about whether or not they want to donate to know that um, donors are recognized and remembered in such um, a gentle and lasting way. I think initially uh, the first part of the memorial we want to have like mother, father, and for me daughter. Um, see the words daughter. Um, I think it really spoke to me the most being that as I am a, a donor mother. It's, it's good to come down here and driving down here is to go through that whole thought process again of what donation and receiving actually means. And when you look at this, it gives you both sides of the story. You have the sadness of having lost someone, and then you also have the beauty of having someone having received this gift. So it's kind of, a, it's, it's like a complete chapter. I think I can speak for all recipients. We are eternally grateful. We're thrilled with this memorial today. That thanks people who have not only given in the past, but those who will give yet in the future. Don't even know about it yet. Someday it will be important to them. 
The memorial will not only honor those donors who gave so much, but it will educate all those who come in contact with it about the critical nature of organ donation. Together with other education efforts, it will help us continue the fight to end the organ donor shortage. I want to share something Vince Lombardi, great coach of the Green Bay Packers, once said. People who work together will win, whether it be against complex football defenses or the problems of modern society. My friends, we need your help. We need your partnership together. Together we can make sure more people get the organs that they need. Together we can make a difference. And together we can save lives. A few days before Nicholas was killed in Italy, um, we played a game with him in which he was a Roman soldier uh, returning home after long years of honorable service on the frontiers of the empire. When you get to Rome, we told him, your name will be known all over the world. Streets will be named after you. Poems will be written to you. Statues will be put up to you. You'll be given a gold medal. It was just a game. But it all came true. But with this difference, that Nicholas, like all other donors, conquered not by the force of arms, but by the power of love. And that, of course, is much stronger. It's that same love, repeated in thousands and thousands of lonely hospital rooms every year, that has inspired this wonderful memorial. And on behalf of all donor families, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting this be part of it. To learn more about the Donor Memorial, visit www.donormemorial.org.